Disclaimer. Please forgive me now for there may be mispronunciations in this video. The jinn, also more notably seen as the genie, is an ancient Islamic invisible illusion casting creatures who live for centuries and can manifest in many forms and travel anywhere. They are spirits, rarely seen as demons, who are of intermediate nature between humans and angels. The jinn are said to have been created before humankind from smokeless fire but it is also said that they could be composed of air. They have no bodies of their own, but are masters of illusory disguise. You can tell that a person or creature is a jinn from their flaming eyes that they have because they are made of fire. Their eyes are also set vertically instead of horizontally as a human's are. When they do take on a human form, it is often that of a beautiful woman. They don't just turn into humans. They also appear in the shape of black dogs, snakes, toads, ostriches, or black cats. They are thought to be the cause of violent sandstorms, whirlwinds, and shooting stars. Depending on the type of gym, they may inhabit ruins, wells, kitchen fireplaces, and public bathrooms. But their favorite place is the desert. The belief is that the jinn live under the sand in organized towns and only rise to the surface to harass humans. So when journeying through the Arabian desert, it is necessary to call out to the jinn and ask for their permission to pass by. With long years and grand knowledge, they know every language, so take care when discussing them. There are ways to keep them away. Their first method is to recite the protective bismillah in the name of Allah. To eat without reciting the bismillah is virtually an invitation for jinn to lurk in the food and where they may be ingested along with the meal. They also loathe salt, are repelled by strong odors such as tar. They are also afraid of pins, needles, silver, iron, and steel. If a jinn gets inside a human, a cure must be found to drive them out of the person, or the person will become insane. Tar, for example, can be used on the body, in addition to inhalation of smoke or incense along with the specific incantations. Salt is usually put under the pillow of anybody who is ill. As I had mentioned before, there are different types of jinn. Earth jinns dwell in drains, toilets, cemeteries, and dark, damp ruins. Water jinns inhabit any source of water, like a river, fountain, or well. They are deemed particularly malevolent and like nothing than to entice humans into the water so they can drown them. Tree jinns seek the trees and are the most benign of the species, with the exception of the jinn that inhabits the fig tree. They like to cause humans to quarrel with each other. That is, if they have the chance to rest under the shade of the branches. Stories are told of humans and jinn marrying. However, a man may marry a female jinn, but a human female may not marry a male jinn. The offspring of such marriages will appear human, but will have magical abilities of the jinn, including the power of flight, the ability to walk through walls, and extreme longevity. They are nocturnal and prefer to sleep during the day. But the scary thing about them is that blood appeals to them, so they may be found in slaughterhouses. Luckily, they have a code of honor that even the most malevolent jinn will honor, a promise or a vow. Jinns appreciate favors done for them and respectful behavior. And lastly, they are more like humans than one would think. They require food to live, are subject to lust and other human passions, and can die, though they live naturally for thousands of years. What do you think of the jinn? Did you like this video? Want to support this channel and get early access? Feel free to check out my Patreon page where I create content on cryptids, hauntings, alien abductions, serious killers, and much more. Can't support me there? Like, comment, and subscribe here.